Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. And uh, today we're going to talk about this little cardboardy thingy, Google Cardboard today. Got one of these in the mail. Finally got my hands on one uh, after all this time, after hearing about it for well over a year. Uh, very accessible now. You can make your own, and I'm kind of lazy. So, uh, but uh, please check out everything at Sorgatron.com, and there'll be details on there shortly about uh, the upcoming Insta content. Uh, uh, workshop that we'll be doing with Katie Dudas. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Talk to Snapchat, Periscope, all the like. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Google Cardboard. So, um, um, and of course, it doesn't take much to do these. There's actually patterns online. You, you, you need to get a couple things like a magnet, an NFC card, and, um, and, and these little lenses that go on the inside here, right? Um, but, uh, but actually, this was something that I found uh, on, on Amazon. There's several iterations of these. And this one caught my attention in particular because uh, it does have this uh, kind of head strap situation on there. Uh, because the, the, the thing, one of the big turnoffs from cardboard for me was you got to hold it up to your face like this. And, and you know, that seems to take away from it a little bit if you have to hold it up the whole time. Um, it's very interesting. They have this little magnet mechanism on this version that you pull the magnet down and that's like your button switch kind of situation. I think there's other versions of these that have an actual button. Um, on you know even the other side of it from what I, from what I've seen, uh, but it works pretty simply. You bring up the cardboard app. I'm using it mostly on an iPhone. Uh, I have an Nexus Seven, but it's a little too big for this. But it works if you hold it. Uh, and there's a little QR code on the side that gives you a profile of I presume the dimensions and such of what your your uh, your of your key, of your uh, cardboard, and and that's about it. And and it syncs it. It, it comes out the black VR. Uh, this is it's uh, this is the black VR. Uh, you can look up that up on um, on Amazon.com, and uh, you're good to go. And it's just, I mean, it's it's you can tell this is not going to last forever. Uh, it is just cardboard, and it, your phone goes in there like so, and you're good to go. And that's about it. Um, so I got to play with it a little bit. Uh, one thing, I, I'm using an iPhone 5S, and uh, just kind of sticking it in there doesn't work out the best. Uh, this is it's rated for uh, four to uh, six inch phones. And of course, uh, the, the 5S is kind of on the smaller side uh, of that range. Uh, but, uh, you know, it kind of uh, could slide around a little bit. Uh, but even what I'm finding is when you put it flush against the bottom, um, I wasn't able to sink my eyes, I guess, in, for the most part. Uh, and that was a little bit of a problem, and and I ended up having to put a pen in here to prop it up a little bit, and uh, that seemed to sync it up pretty well. Uh, so, you know, move you know, having to adjust it and move it a little bit. And one of the big pains in the ass is to to go to an app or even go from an app to app in the Google Cardboard application. Um, you have to go take it out of here, fiddle with it, and then put it back in. Um, eh, works fine for that. Um, I was playing a pretty interesting game last night. Uh, it was, oh, I can't remember the names of it, but I mean, there's ones where uh, it's a, it's an AR, you know, hence why this hole is open on here. Uh, so the camera can still work. You can look around your environment and it would put dinosaurs all around. It was kind of fun. Um, other ones were, uh, uh, there's one from, um, I think it was Acura, that it was a, a, a car test demo. It was actually kind of funny because it puts you, in the middle of like a warehouse and there's two cars in front of you and I actually hadn't downloaded the, the the presentations yet and they're mostly 360 video nothing more than that and uh, a lot of these are, are a lot of times just 360 video uh that you're just able to look around in um it, it uh it 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 uh so so i'm sitting there in the in the warehouse and you actually you know you move and you do just like the connect where you kind of move over an object and there's a little um, um, you know, wheel that lights up and that selects it, right? And then I had to sit there and wait for them to download. So I'm there in this 3D environment, just looking around, just pretty much a sparse warehouse with two two cars. And and I was like, okay, sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, waiting for the download. And then get in there, and one was uh, uh, you know, going, you know, being in the driver's seat, driving through these really interesting places. The other one was really just kind of a a demo where they talked about the design of the car and they moved you in and out of the car with it as as it went. It was fine. It was kind of fun for for a, a product demo kind of thing, and I know there's a lot of kind of advertising sort of situations that people have out there. Um, and we've also, I mean, comparatively, um, 
we've also played with on AwesomeCast. Uh, look at AwesomeCast.net. Look for the Samsung Gear VR. Uh, you're going to find an episode, or especially on the YouTube channel, where uh, I'm sitting here and looking around and knocking stuff over during the show. And so is, so is, uh, so is Dutters, and, and, and we're having a lot of fun with that. And that is uh, available right now. It's a $200 uh, no, it was $100, $200 for the SDK that, that Chilla had here in studio. But you can pick that up for $100, bucks, but it requires you to have the Samsung phones that are compatible with it. So it's very limited. You already have to have that, right? Uh, if you have a Samsung phone, investigate it. It was a really, really cool experience. But again, I, I had this, and um, for the most part, it was comparable to me. Um, it doesn't have all the high technology. Obviously, it's a piece of cardboard. Um, but I think more than more or less, I think the Gear VR was a lot of the same stuff. Again, the hardware is happening on the phone. And it was very specialized to the Samsung hardware. But uh, when I looked at it, and there was another game that I played that puts you in, in a brain, and they talked about how um, the patient had depressive disorder, which I thought was very interesting. Um, and you were in this little ship, and you're looking and blasting at the bad neurons in their brain. And again, you're looking around. It was very immersive experience. It was a game kind of situation. And I thought it was very comparable to that brief experience I had in a spaceship game of some sort on, uh, on his Gear VR. And I think it even looked about comparable, too. Now, when, you, when you're using this thing, um, you're not going to be blown away by the graphics. Uh, you're going to notice the graphics don't look as good as your Xbox 360. Um, kind of low resolution but remember what they're doing is they're taking that resolution of like half of your phone even my retina iphone and and sliding those together you know uh so so that resolution is really kind of cut in half and it's so close right uh and the, and the graphics aren't really kind of pushing up there because it is your phone and and the reason why there's like you know playstation games and stuff being being ported over there you gotta think it's because that smaller screen size they don't have to push as much to it as they do your, your giant, you know, HD TV, right? And uh, so, so again, very comparable, I thought, to the Samsung. This is not going to, you know, this is not going to compare to what's going to be coming up with the Oculus Rift and and, uh, and Steam's, uh, was it Vixia, I think they're calling it, um, or whatever Sony's going to put out here in the coming years. But I think this is a very nice introduction to that and also has me very interested in 360 video. Actually, if you, you go to uh, YouTube right now, Hashtag uh, 360 video. There's an entire uh, channel over there and other stuff where you can go in and even on your computer, you can kind of slide around with your mouse. But if you have a phone, just hold the phone in front of you and you can move around. It's very nice. And especially the Star Wars demo that's over on Facebook. This has a little more of my attention um, in a practical purpose because now this is accessible. Uh, there's the there's the. Uh, uh, the jump rig, Google Video Jump from uh, GoPro. That's uh, several, I think it's 16 cameras. I think it's about a $15,000 rig, sure. But that's that sounds like a crazy amount, but that's accessible for projects uh, of certain, certain degrees if you can get somebody from it. Um, you can also experiment with as low as $200. There's a Rico Theta, I believe the cam is called, uh, that uh, just look up 360 video on, on Google and you'll start seeing these things. Uh, the Rico Theta, uh, again, is a $200 camera that can do that and really has me kind of uh, itching to, to start throwing those in some of the situations that I get to work around. And then now you're in front of this craze. And this is... Um, this is, this is something that some people are betting on right now. It's to that point where maybe not the VR portion of it, but the 360 video. And don't be, you know, don't be mistaken. Like virtual reality with this cardboard thing is not full on virtual reality for the most part. Um, there's a lot more to it for that 3D kind of thing. But, you know, it, it's kind of a misnomer. But 360 video is for real when you talk about the Google Cardboard. And again, this is accessible. There are schools using these because it's so cheap for them to do in comparison to a lot of other things. So they're playing with this. You can pick up a Viewmaster that does the same thing, branded by Mattel. And uh, they, have a, they have a mechanism of these AR, VR kind of 360 video uh, environments that you can get into with those things. I think they're about 30 bucks if you see them on the shelves. 
um, in electronics for the electronics section. I've actually seen them at Targets and Walmarts. Uh, so keep an eye out for those if you want to pick one of those up and you're not so crafty. And even this took a little bit. This this came in a thin box. And there were instructions that I had to not mess up and cut in the right place to get this thing going. And it's still not like perfect. I kind of tore that thing off at the top there. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Uh, it, it's a nice little introduction to it. I, I recommend anybody with any interest in, in technology and virtual reality kind of situations, um, go get one of these for a couple bucks, uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 to 30 sometimes. There's like nice, way nicer ones that are not made of cardboard that you can use, uh, available on Amazon.com. Um, or, you know, again, uh, if you have if you have the, the gear or the uh, Samsung phones, are compatible and have a little bit more cash drop the hundred bucks because everything happening with the samsung uh gear vr is actually stuff that's going to be eventually on the oculus rift and might be a little more higher end than what you're going to see here but again it's going to be accessible with cardboard go look up google cardboard on the twitter find out a little more about it and uh, i'm sure we're going to be talking about this and uh so much more on the awesome cast in the coming well we're going to be taking a break for christmas but in the coming months, uh, et cetera, as we go here, uh, hey, Chilla, I got one too now. <laughs> uh, so Google Cardboard, go check it out. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.